Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. So, it's part four of the Heister build. I'm uh, working on getting all these cylinder liners put in here, and then it's going to be time to put some pistons and rings together and get them slipped in, and that should get uh, pretty much the bottom end of this engine put together. So, let me get the liners and show you how to put them in. So, these are the Cummins Spit Stop cylinder liners. They got a rubber O ring goes on around here. And we'll try not to get it stretched too much. There's no way it gets pinched. And be sure it's not rolled or rotated because it is kind of flat. But other than that, they just slide in. Get it started. I like to take a nice six by six and knock them home. Doesn't mar up the liner anywhere. The wood's nice and soft and uh, pushes good and straight so you're less likely to catch or pinch the O-rings. Last one. Look, they're all within a thousandths and a half. Yeah, throw about a thousand difference in roundness. So out around and tapers three, and I'm checking at one on um, pretty much all of them. So I'd say that's good to go. Next thing to do is uh, get some pistons over here and start getting input together. See where the liner protrusions at here. Above two. Um, barely above two. Okay, so I'm ready to get these pistons put in here. So, got my last two rods here and I'll show you what I got going on. If I ever put this together, did have it right. I got the openings on the snap rings at the bottom, so.
put the old parts back together, there's no chance I mix them up with the new ones. Oh, piston rings. Common three piston set or three ring setup for diesels. Chrome on top, top to the top. Cast iron second ring. Same deal, top to the top. Full ring, which doesn't matter which way it goes. Put the bearing in, pre lube. Number to the cam side, number four. Sure everything's nice and clean. Clean parts are happy parts. Rings are oriented the way I want them. Doing lots and lots of oil in these rings. Man, it'll make a smoke when it first starts, but don't care. It'll burn out. Main thing is, you don't break any rings putting it together, and it gives it some pre lube, so it never hurts. We're gonna worry about my gaps here. Turn them so they're not lined with the wrist pin, don't want them rocking. A lot of people say this makes no difference, but I'm going to do it anyway.
And on this engine, the, the uh, stroke is long enough. I don't really have to worry about the uh, bolts hitting the crankshaft because I got it turned so it's all the way down. And that gives it enough clearance that I can pull it on down onto the crank girl from the bottom once the piston's into the hole. And the way I like to do it is to just put it in fast. And just give it a good quick shove. It doesn't give the rings time to think about if they're going to get caught. I'm not sure. Did I just sit there and do all that with the camera off? Could have been. But, I got the last of the rods in here, so. Well, it's got the bottom end all put together. If I had uh, the other nuts, that they left off when they put this thing together before so it wouldn't be locked up. I could put the oil pan and stuff back on here, but gotta wait for them to come in so I can finish this job. So, I guess that's gonna put me at a stopping point for the moment because the next thing to do is gonna be to flip this thing over and start working on the top. <laughs> 